Thanks a lot. Oh, sit down, love. No one's here to give you an hard time. I suppose he told you that he was right all along. But I just wouldn't listen, would I? Tell you what, why don't you both just leave me alone? I told him what happened. The facts were enough without me having an opinion about it. And he had no idea what was going on, eh? I mean, he never said something like, the woman I'm going to get married to comes from round here. How's Michael supposed to know about any of us? Mum never said anything, because as far as she's concerned, none of us exist. And not a word of her getting wed, nothing. How is it she can still keep ruining my life and she don't even need to be here? It's what your mother does, love. It's who she is. So, what are we going to do about it? We do nothing. It's finished. She's a lying gold digger and that is it. The main thing is, we shut up the pair of them. What are you doing back? Oh, is that the best you can manage? I'm looking for Debbie's. Uh, next door to Edna's. Are you staying around for a bit? Rude. I'm not in. Get this door open now! Clear off before somebody sees you. I said open the door! What the hell are you doing here? Oh, now where have I heard that before? Look, why don't you go upstairs and find some toys while me and your big sister have a chat, all right? Just say what you have to say and get lost. Get in your flash car, you probably conned out of Michael. Same as you con everybody else. And go where? Back to the hotel where I spent my so-called wedding night because my fiancé's chucked me out. Can you blame him? Where is that, anyway? Some five-star place on his credit card? Dead right! And at least he don't begrudge no roof over his head till we're sorted elsewhere. Am I supposed to feel sorry for you? You even lied about being pregnant. Listen! I want some proper answers off you, you cheeky little cow. Now, it is way too much of a coincidence, all this. So either it was your idea or your dad's. Trying to get back at me for whatever it is you think I've done. Why would we care about what you do? Like you'd care about us? You cared enough to ruin my wedding day! I was already having an affair! I told you I didn't know anything! Except that you were going to wreck his marriage! Oh, right, I'll say it again. Do you honestly think that I'd have gone anywhere near him if I knew it was you? Well, if you're going to screw up somebody's life, it's not a bad plan. I'm not you, though, am I? No. And you have got a long way to go yet, love. Did you even love him? What's that got to do with anything? Oh, sorry. I thought it had everything to do with it. Yeah, well, love's not all it's cracked up to be, Debbie. It's more trouble than it's worth. That how you got your head round getting paid for it? That is not love. That is survival. And I'd have slapped you for saying that at one time. Yeah, but now you'd get one back. <gasps> nah, no, cos you're nothing like me at all, are you? Why don't you just go? I can't believe you didn't let me know. Oh, you'd have dropped everything and come running, would you? Don't kid yourself. You didn't even tell anyone you were back from Spain. Yeah, I know, but... She is my granddaughter. I mean, I'll always want what's best for her, love, same as I do you. That'll never change. Where is she? Playgroup. And everything's all right, I hope. She knows I'll be here when she comes home, put it that way. You asked me if I was in love with him. You weren't. It's overrated, remember? More trouble than it's worth. I suppose I asked for that. Either way, I was ready to give him the rest of my life and Noah's. So I wasn't exactly playing at it. So you found something better. And did he think you'd find better? He was lovely with Noah. Treated him like his own. Oh. Spend a fortune on him as well, did he? You see, with me having a job, I didn't need him for his money. Not like you. Oh, come on. Who the hell are you to start judging me? Oh, suppose he didn't spend a penny on you, did he? What did he say? Oh, no, Mike, put your money away. It's not about that. 
Grow up and stop being such a sorry little hypocrite. What did he see in you? Same as he saw in you. You probably don't want to know. Why is it that everything starts looking all right? I'm getting myself sorted and suddenly there you are again. Like a bad rash I can't get rid of. Oh, nice. That is really nice. So, he never said and you never knew. If you even once thought about telling him that you had a family. You're obviously saving it for a special occasion. <laughs> you hate us, all of us. Leave it at that, eh? Not really. I just know we're better off a long way away from one another. Well, nobody's stopping you. Noah, come on, we're going. Looks like something else you got from your mother. Rotten bad luck. It looks like someone's coming to a few quid judging by that flash mortar. Oh, you hard face. Uh, do you mind? She's going. Yeah, too right, she's going. Debbie's just about convinced me you didn't plan it after all. So what am I supposed to do now? Apologise? Oh. Well, that'll be a first, won't it? You do realise everything I are going for me is totally wrecked now, don't you? Whose fault's that? Well, that's what we were trying to figure out. Oh, we were until you got here! No, you were! Don't make it sound like you were invited. Mummy, why is everybody shouting? I'm sorry, love, we're going now. Swear now you didn't plan what happened in that church. Don't flatter yourself thinking I'd give a toss either way. It happened and it's over. We've nothing to discuss now on your Oh, bike. that's right, the way you saw everything. Well, go on then. Oh, just pack it in, both of you. Mummy, please can we go home? I don't know when and I don't know how, but somebody's going to pay for this. Oh, well, it looks like you already have. Bye-bye. Is he paying you off with that or do you have to give it him back? Oh, shut it, Kane. Just cos that's how your twisted mind works doesn't mean everybody else is the same. How my mind works? You've got a nerve, aren't you? Showing up here, telling us how hard done to you are and it's all our fault. Can we not start kicking off in the street? All right, I'm going. I don't even know why I'm bothered. Look at you. You're pathetic, do you know that? You're a joke. Family? You can stick it. Mum, shut up and get in the car. I'm sorry, love. I thought You're deaf on your way. If you'd have thought, you wouldn't have come in the first place. No, maybe not. But I know we shouldn't leave it like this. <sighs> what are you looking like that for? Well shut the mad bent. Man, you don't crash! <laughs> 